you know, I think some shocking information, right? I mean, we, we don't call it. It's, uh, you know, the, the, the hidden truth or the exposed numbers. Our November numbers, our market update here in December, we're talking about what's happening in Santa Cruz County in November. Okay, so the number that most people are gonna look at is that average sales price. Right? And so we've been watching what is on the news about interest rates are beating down prices and there's no more buyers and things like that. But in reality, what we saw in November was an average sales price or a median sales price of 1.135 in San that's Santa Cruz countywide. Okay, that includes condos, townhomes. Condos, townhomes, any residential property. Any residential, okay. And what's interesting about that, it's easy to say, okay, well, that's that's pretty far down from, I think when we were at the peak is 1.3 in chain, right? And so, oh, wow, that's a big drop. Yeah. But really, we can't always look at it, that was a spring market compared to a fall market. And so when we're looking at November to November, Last November, it was 1.08 million, and the November before that is 1.05 million. So this is actually the highest November that we've ever had. So no matter what the news is saying about, okay, prices are dropping, all the buyers have dried up, the interest rates drove them all out, that's actually not what we're seeing in our county. So we truly are exposing the facts of the market. I mean, this is, uh, you know, <laughs> misinformation, the way it's the media portrays it, it's kind of to their narrative, right? And in, in which the facts are, prices aren't down. I mean, prices are, are up from last year uh, that signs of maybe some consumer confidence there is pent-up demand but what is true is that there's a lot less volume I mean we're seeing less sales uh, yeah this you know this year than we did last year by, by a large number I think mean, sales are close to 40% lower than yeah number of sales it's definitely fewer and we've actually seen in the very last quarter of this year we're actually seeing it kind of tick up more so than we did last year of more available homes but it's not always the homes people are looking for. We actually, recently, we've seen quite a few homes come on the market over the $12 million mark, which is kind of unusual for our county, right? Like we're, we're not, you know, Orange County or any of the like coastal Southern California counties or cities where they're looking at 15, 20, $30 million. Our, some of our highest sales of all time in the county are only around $15 million. So we're not this ultra luxury price point. We're also not a low price point either. Yeah, that's funny you brought that up. I mean, we had some crazy historical sales this last month that are, you know, not common in our area. It's kind of fun to talk about. It's not like yeah. every day someone's looking for a $10 million property, but we had, I think, six properties that were 10 million or more that sold. Or uh, at, at least came on the market. Yeah, we have closed and there was La Salva Beach had one that was mm -hmm. Two properties sold together that were over 10 million. There was, you know, uh, Opal Cliffs had one over 13 million. Aptos on Beach Drive had 9.8 million. Yeah, so I mean, they're just yeah. like, there's some fun facts, right? People yeah. like to see that, like, you know, what's the uh, the uh, ultra wealthy doing today? You know, yeah. buying in Santa Cruz County. Yeah. You know, it's a great and, place to be. And it's funny you phrase it that way too about the ultra wealthy because we also see on the other end of that is that our area typically has higher incomes, especially coming over from Silicon Valley. There's some yep. higher income there. But the interest rates, although it has taken, for sure, it took some buyers out of the market, we still see plenty of offers coming through where we're writing offers that are still 20% down. You know, they're still financing half or more of that purchase, even if it's, you know, $1.5 million. We're, we've seen examples of people taking out million dollar loans, even when interest rates are above 7%. Yeah. And so it's, yes, it slows things down. It does take some people out of the market. That's unfortunate. And for sellers, the real thing to understand is that the buyers are still there. There are fewer of them, but they're obviously still there. Totally, 100% through there. They're just not as many, farther and fewer between. But again, just comes to marketing and making sure that these properties are ready to go, that it, we check all the boxes for what buyers want so that we can sell, these properties sell faster. It's a huge, huge plus, but great stats on, you know, Santa Cruz County. I mean, I think it really shows you that, you know, is Santa Cruz a great place to live? And the answer is yes. I mean, I think undoubtedly that's, there's, we just, there's a lot of demand and just such low inventory, but people want to live in Santa Cruz County. Santa Cruz County truly is a great place to live. Uh, you know, there's, a, you know, there's homes for sale in Santa Cruz. You can find them, yeah. uh, you know, so that's, you got to just, uh, 
you know, know where to look, know who to talk to, and we're your guys. I mean, that's kind of in the nutshell, right, is uh, reach out to us so we can break this all down for your specific case on what you're looking for, what your budget is, uh, and all that. And that's, uh, we look forward to it. We love what we do, and we're here to help. Yeah.